So let's get a rockin' and a rolling. Oh crap, this is the escort mission. What? Did I honestly take this mission? I thought I took the... No, I'm an idiot. Oh boy, I'm a moron. But that's okay. We're just gonna start right here. Because I don't want to walk. We'll be able to, we basically can skip half of the mission. I have an Osprey and a Horn Demon, both with a GRM7. Hmm. I've always wanted an Osprey. They're such cool looking mechs. Jump over here. You didn't give me a chance to brace game. Jeez. Jerk. Where are we actually going? I'm trying to figure out where. There it is. So we're going that way. Got it. Run this way. Motion aye, aye. Enemy contacts. And the convoy's active. He had it to your starter medium. Nice. Did you do a Comstar start? What do you want? Which faction granted you such fun firepower? Where is the enemy? They were detected and now they're not. Riflemen. There they are. They came out of the ether. Okay. Standard Centurion. Cyclone. Ooh. Tell me you. Interesting. Huh. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> but it's certainly interesting. Okay. You can't shoot at anybody because you're caught in the middle, which sucks, but it is what we're working with. Blackjack has a shot. It is over the shoulder. And the accuracy is poor. So, yeah. That ain't gonna happen now, is it? You wanna bet this accuracy hasn't improved? Yep, 18%. Not gonna, not gonna waste fire at that range. That would be dumb. Over here. Darken you on the move. It's like a catapult mixed with a couple of other mechs. So I, I kind of get it, but at the same time, it's certainly derpy. All right, we're going to come out of cover. The Phoenix generally doesn't take too much damage just because of the type of mech that it is. The indirect fire support roll allows you to hide if you need to. So placing it outside of coverage should be fine. Unless we get ambushed, in which case, hey, that's a helicopter. Okay, LRM 2, I guess. It only did five damage and only two missiles. Uh, Warhammer has four medium-proved heavy lasers, a clan ER large laser, and an ATM-9 with HE ammo. Yeah, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Got some firepower there. Price, because you can't move any faster. We have tried. Every time we try, we fail. Oh, no. That's a Gauss rifle. And a lot of mines. Jesus. All right, who are you and how fast can I rip your entrails out? You're the cyclone, you're the helicopter. The fire came from over here. Wonderful. So according to this, to get out of the minefield, we need to take 115 damage. We're not going to do that. I'm going to have one of my blackjacks spray the area with PPC fire to clear it out. That's a Fujin VTOL I can tell from the mines. <laughs> it might be. Oh, and this blackjack is also stuck. 42 damage. Are you kidding me? Right up to the edge. Take aim. That's a Centurion. That's a Cyclone. Give the cyclone a little gift. I need one of the blackjacks to clear out all the mines. There goes the block. Uh, those Fujin parts fell for a lot. Yeah, but I'd rather have the Fujin. Because it's got a gauss Oh, that particular one seems to have a gauss rifle. Alrighty. Ugh, this is gonna suck. How good is this shot, by the way? Yeah, not worth it. All right, I don't have multi-target, so it's just going to have to be ugly. He's on. Go for attack ground. 
Attack right here. Cleared out some of them. That wasn't nearly as good as I was expecting, though. Okay. Let's see how it is, game. Close! I can't be that close to my target. I can't be that close to my target, though. Still no sign of our mystery VTOL. Uh, each this and the die, please. Nope, the block is made of sterner stuff, and it is. Which is true. Can I get two? I can get two! Perfect! Get down the block, please! Nice that it's a chill environment, but jeez. So much for an anti-aircraft mech. Better than I get, uh, if I'm lucky, I get three hexes cleared. I mean, I fired two PPCs into it. I should hope I get at least that. <laughs> really? Okay, uh, don't fall over, please, and we'll be able to punish this Cyclone's insolence brutally. Game! Killing me here. The fact that you're not allowed to move beyond normal walking speed is such a pain in the behind. Well, at least you can do that much. Jesus. Okay, got some penetration on the block. We might even be able to shoot him down. There he is! I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna hurt you in ways you've never dreamed. You will be begging. I'm gonna reserve with you because clearly you are not capable of moving. Because the convoy's a tiny bit stretched and so the game is freaking out. So if I shout at you, 22. You're a 43, you're a 22. Let's make sure the block goes down. It's a start, and we'll work on the next one. Two vehicles in the back, gotta move them up. Yeah, I know. It's just frustrating how it holds you back like that is all. Alrighty, hi. How you have that much evasion is astonishing to me. Um, so let's see if we can't punch through it. Took him halfway through the salvo before he finally touched him. Don't you just love fighting Clanker? We're in a really bad spot right now. I'm not happy with this at all. The positioning is killing me. Literally. Get out of here, Prowler. No more waiting around. Get him in the back. Even one hit would have been nice, but I suppose it was a 10%, so that is asking a little bit much. You. Yay! Finally getting down the road. From the top, which I imagine he holds. He does. Fujin or the Cyclone? Fujin. Oh, wait, no. Who's on 20? Oh, yep, yeah, it was the Cyclone. Dick. Come back here so I can beat the other thing crap out of you. Wow. What the hell? He is motoring. Of course, the knockdown. Because I can't have nice things. He's got a supercharger and everything. Because of course he does. I'm not salty. Actually, no, that's a lie. I am very salty already. Have my anger and my rage. I really don't care about him right now. Oh, never mind. I do care about him mainly because I can't hit the broadside of the barn on the other target. So eat that and die. Is that a leg? It was a leg. I'm gonna make you suffer for what you did to me. The bleeding? He is bleeding, he's got nine activations, and he's dead. 
D E D dead. Nineteen. Forty-eight. Yeah, that, that that looks to be a little bit more appropriate for what I'm looking for. Airburst and follow the leaders. Let it rip. Unless he doesn't have any more mines. Take the one damage from the mine. Aim over the shoulder at the other leg. Ha ha ha! Yeah, this is gonna hurt him a lot. What'd you blow up? Lower leg, he's panicked. No, not you. Yes, we just need a little more damage. Uh, Ordnance transport has to reserve because he needs to wait for everybody else to catch up. Yes. Rifleman. Get nice and close. 32% How did you shoot him in the back? That shouldn't even be possible. Set them all back down to three, just so we have a little bit of chill going on. And do I want a Vigilance? I do. I do want a Vigilance, because I am going to get shot at by other things, and I don't want to die. If I can help it. Hello, definitions! Welcome to the stream. Here comes the Centurion! Ow. You're not supposed to be that accurate, Mr. Centurion. I'm under heavy fire. I have noticed this. If you wanted to just take your shot from here, what are we looking at? I mean, obviously, yes, but... Uh, not great. Alright, shooting him in the leg. He's got 27 health left. Uh, I think just spamming him with MRMs might be the way to go. 20 missiles. Each missile does 5, 3, 4, 6 would need to hit him in the leg. So we'll go with that. Take it in the leg, please! Large heavy lasers are crit, but not destroyed. There we go. Is that both legs? Did we lose? Crit the XL engine, but I think we got that. Alright, slide better. Start getting on the move. We're all catching up now. We can finally get moving. We've killed half of the lance. Although, to be fair, it's not the heaviest part of the lance, but that's not the problem. Pulse! Yep, didn't work. Don't expect much. Stand up! You lazy person. If these blackjacks are rolling, we've got people to blow up. Heavy weapons to use. Yeah, I figured that wouldn't work after getting up, but still, I had to try. If you get lucky, then we might make him unsteady, or not unsteady, we jam his weapons and that makes him an easier pop. That is his left side, left is right, so this is his vulnerable section, which means I'm in his vulnerable section. Oh, and the accuracy is high. Can I follow up with a kill on him quickly? The answer is no. So I'll move that. And then I will shoot him down. You have less than 100 health there. Oh, it says we were in fire. What kind of cook is this? Am explosion too high? That's safe. Goodbye, little Fujin. I'd love to be able to steal enough parts of you to steal one of you, because you have enough firepower to actually last. Two in here. Next turn, you'll be in the fight against the final enemy. Are you going to charge me or shoot me? He's going to shoot the APC. Okay. I would count that as a mistake, but he can do whatever he wants. Bye, Jack. Turn off the AC-5s, let him settle. And a quartet of medium lasers dealing a decent amount of damage. We're basically hitting with an AC-20 every time we shoot that, so... is not bad. Finally can switch over to some acid rounds, get a little bit of pain on him. Status effect. Oh, and we're through. Acid times 11. 
side torso is now exposed. Oh good, I can just rush right through it. Thank you! We don't normally get to sprint at full speed in these things. Another hit on him. Didn't quite get what I wanted. I wanted to, you know, accidentally blow up his ammunition. Because he does have that weakness right now. You're moving too far. The convoy can't keep up. More missiles. Blackjack is not going to be in target for a couple of turns, but that's fine. We'll give him enough time to chill out. That mech, this Blackjack beyond all others, desperately needs double heat sinks. <laughs> it's killed him. It's killed him quickly. Eh, still not the results I'm looking for here. I require more damage. I need just a little bit more. A little bit more. Teensy bit more. I want to blow off his side torso. Stand still, take aim, mortar him up. I was hoping for a good critical strike, but uh, that'll be fine. No, I can't get to his side. If I can't get to his side, I'll just walk forward one or two. And we'll light him up with our lasers. Hey, that's what I wanted! Ammunition explosion! Alrighty. So let's move on. Now that uh, Cyclone is a clan mech, or at least it seems to be a clan mech. It was equipped with all clan gear. And we managed to save what appears to be pretty much all of it except for one arm. So that will hopefully be some nice gear to stack into everything. Can you run now? There we go. Now the Prowler's finally caught up. Now I can actually drive people. Not too fast, mind you, otherwise the game flips out, but... I suppose fast enough. Blackjack, get through the minefield, come join us. And we'll have all five mechs ready to go once again. Now comes the long part of this where we slowly shepherd them at minimal speed across the map <laughs> uh, to the revac points. Luckily, there is some equipment here that is worth saving. Uh, obviously, no mechs, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping for a good mechs to show up. But definitely gear here that is worth... Okay. There we go. All caught up again. The rubber band on convoys is painful. But at least it's better than the alternative. The old version of convoys, we just had to trust that the computer wouldn't get stuck, and the computer often got stuck. <laughs> it made it very annoying. We will be out of here shortly. Although there should be a final assault that we will have to defend against. But there is that to keep in mind. Rolling, get rolling, high speed, low drag. We don't know where they're coming from, so we just have to keep an eye out on everything. You can go there. This will be the enemy reinforcements. Looks like they're off to the side. Two, three, four. Great, they're right over there. Lucky for us, we have a dropship. Especially on this map? Yeah. Squirting mech lances is also really good with manual control. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Mech commando. Uh, we don't even know what kind of mech. Not enough data. And an LRM weapon carrier. We might theoretically come out of this one with an, with an LRM carrier. Which would be pretty nice. 
LRM carriers have, uh, well, first of all, an LRM, so you get the indirect fire asset. But the other fun thing they have are SAM rounds, which makes them effective for helping to SWAT VTOLs. They're not amazing at it, but they're good enough. High-end VTOLs, of course, won't care, because high-end VTOLs are equipped to the brim with flares and AMS of all sorts, so you won't get anything through on that. But early game VTOLs, eh, they can do enough work. Run! Full speed! You gotta get on over there. Oh shoot, I should have fired with him. <laughs> and you're stuck. And you're stuck. You cannot move them once they're in this ring. So make sure they're in a place where you're happy with. Because otherwise, you're screwed. I don't know what this other mech is. The fact that he's stealth has me very concerned. At least the rifleman's right at the edge, so he can pop up and just unload on somebody. I am expecting a fourth, but I'm just not seeing it at the moment. Makes me think it's probably a VTOL because it's taking a really long time for the AI to figure out what it's doing. Nope, it just is a really jumpy ma- it's a lamb. Okay. It's a lamb with tandem warheads. Hi there, little lamb. Oh, it's a Pwaka. Pwaka, Pwaka, I never know how to say this. Sleibner can't move from there, but I should be able to turn. Nope, I can't even turn. Just brace them. Crawler, can you shoot? You should have a turret. 0.9%. That's about what I was expecting. Maybe for Hero Stealth Anda. Nah, it's not Narinia. We are at least safe from that. Uh, I can get an obstructed sun angle. Now I'm going to keep closing. But my accuracy is looking like 5.4. Yeah, I will I will fire one pot at it just to keep my temperature perfectly chill. Puka, I believe is the pronunciation. It's using a Crusader as the front, so. <laughs> I think it's a Crusader. It might be a Corsair. Let's, let's take a look as soon as it gives it back to us. Goodbye! We won. You lost. Get over it. I mean, of course, we're going to kill all of you, because if I can do this just right, I might not even be able to steal that lamb. Zoom, 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 zoom. Uh, you know what? I think that might be a Corsair. Yeah, that's a Corsair. Not a uh, Crusader. Alright. Blackjack with twin AZ-5s. 8.1%. Are you high? Why? Let me guess. Oh, uh, let me guess. No sensors. I love you too, game. These are not bad tactics pilots either. <sighs> Rotation grows immeasurably. Sure, we'll do 6.2 because nothing else matters. Fire the lasers because we don't have an accurate cannon shot and I don't want to jam the guns. Can't punch him. Can't light him on fire. Can't hit him with mortar rounds. God, he's going to be annoying. Because it's lame, you can't melee it? Yep. Best chance I have is to hit him with the um, the airburst rounds, because that gives me a bonus to hit. If he moves slowly, I will also be able to probably hit him. Which he might do. Eh, he didn't move at all, but he's probably got shooting scoot. But I don't want to lean too much on that. Although, nope, he's definitely got shooting scoot. Otherwise, the turn would have ended by now. Don't move far. Don't move far. Just a little bit. Tiny amount of movement. Really, Monarch? You broke your arm? Last thing I needed right now? He didn't move! Okay, everybody, get on that right now. There's one target that matters, and that's him. Airburst rounds for the 90% accuracy, and nail him. Nail him to the wall. Not a single one of those LRMs hit.
Okay, so, uh... Phoenix fires. Armor damage, armor damage, armor damage. Structure exposed. Armor damage. Neural feedback. Component explosion. Prototype heat sink. Explosion. Minus initiative. Minus consciousness. Lamb fight systems crit. Engine crit. Double heat sink destroyed by torso. Damn it. I was hoping that we wouldn't blow up the torso. His turn turned up. Uh, yeah, probably. Fast units like that. Although, I think it would have taken longer, wouldn't it? It's a, what, a 45, uh, it's a 45 second timeout? I don't think that was 45 seconds. Longwood Geek has been with us for eight full months, eight months down, and many more to come. Keep picking back ass. Uh, did you see Starfleet Command 3 and a bunch of other games are in GOG? I did. Um, Starfleet Command 3 is not really for me. Uh, I didn't like the simplification of the system. Like, four shield facings and it's, it's slower. Like, if I go back to Starfleet Command, it's going to be two. <laughs> It'll be more Orion Pirates Plus if we go back to Starfleet Command. <laughs> if I really need that modern fix, I will just go back to do redoing the, um, the Next Generation slash DS9 mod that I had started working on all those years ago. By the way, folks, if you haven't have any Urban Mech emotes, please do spam them in the chat right now to support the people, just like Longwood Geek, who support the channel. Part of me wanted to go back and replay Elite Force, although I'm not sure if people would want to see that. Because Elite Force is fun. <laughs> it's a really good game. Elite Force 2, also pretty okay. Church on a Hill, been with us for nine whole months. We got more people to spam Urban Mech emotes at, folks. Where the chat be at? Come on, folks. I know you got it in you. Blackjack, a move in. So we knocked out both of their mechs. They still got a VTOL in back. Which, you know, your mileage will vary with VTOLs. As we've seen, the Ripper got completely and utterly blitzed. Of course they're shooting Monarch, because Monarch's already got exposed structure. What? We're definitely going to have to turn her around before she gets killed by the Sprint. Because a single ER medium laser can kill... Never believe that it can't. Which is why it's weird Starfleet Command 2 isn't available yet. Uh, so the reason why Starfleet Command 2 isn't going to ever be available is because it's not owned by... The, the people who own it are Dynavers. It's it's the fan community, I believe, who have purchased it. So, or specifically one fan. And he has his own visions of what he wants to do with it, and he was not particularly um, fond of sharing with others. And that's about as far as I'm willing to talk about that. But the, the rights for Starfleet Command 2 are held by someone else at the moment. So that'll, it will probably never come to GOG or Steam because of that. Uh, but hey, maybe we'll get lucky and he'll decide to change his mind. Hey, Sprint! Yeah, that did it. So that'll be four parts of the Puaka. Which would be nice. Uh, I do like it. It's not a heavy mech, but then again, lambs almost never are. There is the Hector, but that is not a real lamb. I don't even know if... Is the Hector in Rogue Tech, or is that a BTA only thing? Bloody Doves ended up making a special mech specifically for uh, one of his supporters. And it, I believe it's an 80-ton lamb called a Hector. And it is crazy. Or is it 70 tons? It's 70 or 80 tons. It's heavy. It is not a light boy. Hector Lime is in both now? Nice. A little bit of damage. There was a crit on the PPC, but other than that, not too bad. Everybody else managed minimal damage, except for Monarch, who got smashed to the ground and will be back in the infirmary again. Can't keep a good woman in her actual mech. Only one part of the fu fusion came back. Two, three, four. Combat shock? Oh, Gauss Rebel Clan, Large Heavy Laser Clan. Thank you! Oh, medium improved heavy lasers. Tempting. Clan ER mediums. Oh, boy. That's... Mm, I, I will have to end the, end the combat shotgun. There's a lot of good stuff here. No. No, don't do this to me, game. <laughs> Advanced optics. <laughs> and sheath the beacons. I can't take the Vlaka. Because this is a vanity project. This right here, I like lambs. I am a fan of lambs. I think lambs are one of the most amazing things in Battletech, and I want to actually use them. I never get to. Yeah, but it's only 30 tons. So this is a vanity project as much as I want it. 
I'm not gonna take it because there's too much other good gear here. Oh, we're gonna make out like bandits today. Oh, only one part of that weapons carrier came back. That is really disappointing. Uh, ER mediums, maybe. I'm not sure on that one, but definitely this, this, this. Excel uh, engine. I thought you'd have one fire control system standard, but the FCS energy. Yeah, better than the advanced zoom work too. Because we use a lot of mechs that use heavy energy armaments, so. Super worth it. Lamb turbines, I'd love to have it. Sensors clan. I don't have sensors clan, but I, I want this stuff more. Vehicular DNI. Oh, oh, now you tempt me. Vehicular DNI. Do I have any gas ammo right now? I do have one ton. Right, I do have one ton of gas ammo. So I won't be able to run this cannon. But that's fine. Uh, no ER mediums. I think instead we're going to switch out for the vehicle, for the vehicular DNI. Because that is good. And we'll hope for the gas rifle. Laser insulators would be great on the rifle one. Yeah, but I don't know how long that rifleman's going to be in the company. That's the problem. I love lambs, you know that, but that's, that's not worth it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Battletech Paradox, there's a ton of good stuff for nothing at all. Yep. If it was a 55 ton lamb, it would be worth it. 30 now. Yeah. That's why I ended up not taking Oh, we didn't get any parts of it, too. Damn it, game. All right. Uh, we did not get the ER mediums. We did not get the second sheath beacon. We did get two 80 rate fusion cores, for whatever that's worth. Uh, three fire control system standards, 12 more heat sinks. We did get the lamb turbines. Okay, so we got a full set of turbines now. Uh, don't need the standard fusion cores. We did get the upper recoil. We did get the ammo gauss. Okay, so we, we officially have a working gauss rifle now. And none of the laser insulators. So we have a gauss rifle and two tons of ammo to work with it. We got a clan and an inner sphere one, so we can we can go to town. That'll be a 12 ton gauss rifle. Oh, who needs it? Could I double up? Hmm. I'd have to lose the medium lasers. I think I have enough that if I went in with the blackjack and swapped everything out, I could swap in the um I could swap in the two gauss rifles. Because the inner sphere version of that blackjack has two gauss rifles. And they're inner sphere gauss rifles, which are super heavy. So we have a clan and an inner sphere one, which would theoretically mean we should still be able to keep three medium lasers, but I assume the armor's lighter or something. So, but having a Klein Gauss rifle and the ammo to use it is pretty important. 12 days and 41,000 Seabills to repair it. Uh, that actually means significantly less than that. Uh, BJ1 Black. That Black Tech always gets ripped up. It's so sad. Three, four. And one more day for Koenig. My mech bay for my damaged mechs. Oh, I don't have any because of the, the black text that damaged one, and it's not going to be done for a while. Storage. Do I have enough components to build anything? Oop. We're up to four components on the weapons carrier. If only we had access to the actual shop. Then we could look to see if it had just shown up. No. No. Nope. 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 Uh-uh. Quick sell case 2 reduces and can be destroyed. To only 15 points. Oh, okay. Weighs point eight of a ton. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. That's that's a bit of a rough one. I'm not sure I'd want to rely on that. 15 internal damage is still a heck of a lot of damage. Give guts to Koenig. He's now a base four pilot. The ogre managing to get his base six. That'll make him pretty stable. I don't know if we're gonna blitz for guts, but we might. Now your vehicle pilot, you don't need it because no work rework has come to you yet. BTA is ahead of Rogue Tech in mechanics now. It's kind of weird, but it's true. Bloody is officially ahead of the Rogue Tech by at least two updates. Uh, one to the vehicle pilots and one to battle armor, which is something that Rogue Tech just does not have. Now, on the flip side, Rogue Tech has more vehicles that are player controllable than BTA does. But how many vehicles do you really use? Most of the quick sell gear is, oh my god, this is trash, but there are a few gems there. Yeah, like the auto cannons. <laughs> We've built whole mechs around those auto cannons. <laughs> they are that good. 
All right. Oh, we almost made up all the cash that we needed off of that one, too. Nice. Awesome canard. Defend base. Two and a half skills. Six of 27. Oh, you tempt me something serious. We might be able to pull that off. I would want the PJ1 for it, but I'm willing to live without that. We're almost there. Actually, if we went like this, we could guarantee maxing out our reputation with the Regan Coalition in this particular mission. Uh, but we're not going to do that, obviously. Because all these 2s are probably the best all-can of the game. Um... Close, very close. So there's two other two other auto cannons that I would rather lean on. Heavy rack fives, and it'd have to be the heavy rack version now, because they decided to nerf rack fives instead of ner and nerfing none of the other weapon systems, which I'm still I am still unhappy about that. And uh, the other one is the ultra light rotary rifle, which is like two tons and shoots six times at the same damage. But it is better than all the ultra auto cannons and standard auto cannons because you can actually put in specialized ammunition types. Uh, now that would be quick sell AC twenties. They jam too much. They're, they're really cool because they weigh as much as clan ultras, but they jam a heck of a lot more. They crack themselves more. So I'd rather have a clan ultra twenty for that. Whereas, and for a quick sell AC two, I'd rather have a quick sell AC two than a clan ultra two. Even though they weigh the same, the quick sell AC two, I can put in specialized ammo for it, which makes it more useful. Oh boy, where was I? Right, uh, Rocket, you have a low guts, which means you may get killed, so don't die. That's what I want. Yes, yes, that is what I want. Because Quicksil AC 20s are cool, but Clan Ultra 20s are better. Um, also because of the firing modes. So the, the downsides of a quick sell autocannon are they shoot twice always. So you can't pace your shots if you suddenly find yourself low on ammo or want to try and be a little bit careful about how much damage you do. Um, so they t shoot two shots always. They have a chance to jam and they have a chance to crit themselves. And that is related to gunnery and recoil. So uh, the quick sell laser AMS runs hot early game but can protect the lance with people managing to. <laughs> yeah, some of the quick sell gear is actually worth it. A lot of it isn't, but some of it is amazing gems. Yeah, the, the Quicksell AC2 is, is phenomenal. The AC5 is better late game-ish. Uh, still, it's a little bit harder to use just because it is more frequently jamming itself. But again, you can use special ammo types on it, which is amazing. So, the special ammo feature for the cannons, like suddenly you've got an ultra auto cannon that's firing at precision auto cannon accuracy, and that is wonderful. So that's why the, the twos and certain somewhat the fives are good. Um... The tens at that point, I'd rather have a clan ultra, a clan ultra ten because your jam chances go up, and the twenty. I mean that, <laughs> you gotta have a really good pilot for that. Otherwise, it's just not gonna work. And at that point, you may as well get the clan twenty because it'll be more reliable. <laughs> That's sort of how I, how I try and justify things. <laughs> 